This is a small container and this is a small bioactive tank. If you're not, please subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for the support. Here we have an empty tank with only coconut fiber, soil inside and no plants. But now we're gonna add a new creature to add life to our tank. So this is the first creature we are going to add. This is the roly poly, or if you wanna sound cool, this is an isopod. They are creatures that can curl up into a ball like an armadillo, and they use this tactic to defend themselves from other creatures that are trying to harm them, or predators, which is something we are going to add in the video. Now let's add our new animals to the tank. So as you can see, one of the roly polies is trying to flip himself the other side while the others are still scared. Now they are starting to walk on the new world. They are wondering where they are probably or what awaits them. Okay, now the tank looks very empty right now, so let's add a little bit of more plant. This is moss, and now we're going to add it to the tank to add more life to it. And we're also going to add wood so the isopods have some place to hide or breed in. And I also got this barrel fish decoration for the future predator's new home. So here it is, our new ecosystem for our animals and our future predator. Okay, now that we finished planting the tanks and putting the decorations in, we needed a new insect co to control the moss population. Here are some mealworms, you can get these on your local pet store anywhere. Petco or PetSmart. So these insects will take care of the moss population. So let's add them in the tank. So eventually these worms will turn into beetles and will reproduce later on. So it's been a couple minutes now and I think I've made a grave mistake. I think I've added too many mealworms. So I think we're ready for our future predator. So as you can see the mealworms have the most population of any animal in this tank so I will add the solution. Here is a baby for scorpion and this scorpion will take care of the population of the isopods and the mealworms. So let's add them in the tank. This four scorpions sting will paralyze any of his prey. If this four scorpion were to sting you, it would only be like a bee and would only cause inflammation and a little bit of pain. So right now he looks confused of his surroundings and where he is. Now the scorpion is making his next move. He has found refuge on the barrel decoration. And this is his permanent home now and he will be in charge of taking care of the population of his new empire. 
So here we have the king of the tank, the four Asian Force Scorpion wandering around the tank. So the Asian Force Scorpion usually has bigger claws than the other scorpion species due to the Asian Force not using its stinger but its claws to tear apart its prey. While other species of scorpions which have smaller claws usually use more of their stinger to paralyze and rip apart their prey. Something amazing was about to happen for the first time in our tank, a rainy season. Finally, now the tank looked like it had life. <laughs> 